for good internet. Okay, so we have Cheek Good Times. Are you happy? Okay, we'll do something with this. Hey, what's up, Grimmies? <laughs> F the YouTube, please. This is going on YouTube right after. Twitch is cool, indeed. Okay, we have. I've never. I don't, I've, maybe I've heard of this one before. This better not be trolling. Okay, so I would play the whole thing, but we got to keep this fair use. Why are you buggered? It's quite amazing. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a it's, it's a funky kind of bass. Let's uh, take a listen to it. So what they would do back in the day is they had like these samplers, but you can only record like 10 seconds at once. So yeah, we're only going to be taking little snippets and seeing what we can do. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> okay, we'll take that too. Um, 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 um. Oh, I'm already doing this one. He beat, he beat you. But I'll I'll take a look at that one in a bit. Maybe I won't make a full track. Maybe I'll just do loops. Um, okay, we have disco here, so we'll just get rid of that on the Bob Ross. It's happening. Yeah, Nile Rogers, he's a cool guy. Okay, I like that. Right. So if you want to be like old school Daft Punk like the nightclub so that's like a little off so just gotta warp it simple I do this and then Okay, that's something. I'll go 125. If we have that idea. Usually I just make a bunch of ideas that aren't mine, but I'll take them anyway. Okay. Oops. Go away, loop. I hate you. Ah, you mess it all up. Am I, am I losing everyone's interest? Hopefully not. Um, I'm just checking something. Hold on. 18 viewers. That's a record. Okay. Okay, so I have these two, um, and you could basically make a track out of these kind of loops. 19 now. What's up? <laughs> and I'll leave these for kind of ideas. Okay, so. Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's gonna be a little challenging. Um, okay. Oops. So what's happened is I got I have like a new desk and like my monitors are like way up, like way higher than I'm used to them to be. Okay. You're fascinated right now. Okay, that's good. That's my goal. So, um, if you look up uh, Thomas Bangalter, um, he's uh, one half of Daft Punk. Um, no, wait. Uh, Guy Manuel D. No, oh, I can't pronounce. I don't even remember his last name. I have it in my mind's eye. If you look him up, if you look up uh, La Night Club, your mind will be blown because it's all like short loops and it's like an alias he had. It's a label he started in like the early 2000s. Amazing stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna make a little longer loop out of that. Maybe, what are you doing? Okay, uh, we'll leave that. And actually, I like this better. It's kind of tricky. This used to take uh, producers like days to like load into a sampler and play around with, and then you know you take it, and within five minutes you have something. But we're not done yet. So disco, it was there was something called a disco smile. It's how they they would have basically how they do cue. They'd have it like that, and then like that kind of thing. Right here, I'll show you. Oops, you can see this, all 21 of you. Oh, this is a an oldie uh, parametric EQ, right? This is something that, this was made in uh, the late 70s, which is basically about that time, and this is all they had for these kind of. EQs, but what they they would have it like this, and then they have it like that. So like, if you can see that, it kind of looked like a smile, right? Like a U in the thing. I don't know. Probably can't see that. Here, one sec. I'm a I'm a collector of old school stuff. I only have one, but I'm still a collector. Anyway, yeah, that's what that's basically how they would have it. Uh, they didn't have uh, EQs like this, and like that's how you got like the roundness of um, your disco kind of beats. So what you have to do is you have to kind of like bring it back out, right? Um, and this is a term used in uh, modern. Yes, I'm a collector of samples too. Um, this is a term used in modern dance music. It's called uh, giving it tits. And what that does, it, it's basically like a woman's or a man's breasts. With uh, You can use your imagination here. And it's, it's, a, it's a term. Um, and what that does is it brings it back out. And then you're going to want to kind of, you know, do that. And this is uh, the kind of the de facto way uh, when you sample things from back then to now, this is how you would uh, put it all together. And it sounds like this. Compared to this. Right? And it's more of an instant effect. Well, not an effect. It's an instant processing to bring something back into, back into life. Holy shit, I'm going to use that term a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a real term. It's used by a lot of my colleagues and it's kind of a it's kind of yeah a thing you use um, when sampling uh, 70s and 80s stuff just because of the way they mixed things back then yeah I've said that enough times but yeah here we go so more titties you don't need too much titties but yeah basically this brings it back out so we're gonna add a kick uh, some sort of 
kicky kick or a loop I like uh, the vengeance uh, essential house just because it's made for this kind of stuff See, I cheat and I use this one a lot because I like it. I like the way it looks. So um, what you can do with these um, is you can kind of uh, like reprocess it um, with warping and you can do weird stuff like this. Right? Or... Or do weird stuff like that. What I kind of do is I kind of leave it, but I I pitch it down. Nah, it doesn't really work for me. Right, and then for the kick, the vengeance ones are kind of um, come back. Yeah, sorry, I. I mentioned something you can watch back and see what I was talking about but uh, for uh, the vengeance stuff the the area around here this line I always know this line 200 Hertz yeah and I, I now learned that it's a little too over processed so it's, it's a good idea to do this um, Chris Lake he also talked about this how on his master he'll cut this because on his it's like way too high up so I, I do this now like kind of at a, at a habit to kind of clean out the low end and then you make room for other things I clean out the low end of the kick because the kick is essentially low end like the oomph and then the click or the high end so you know everyone's coming here for tits anyway <laughs> um, yeah and then I just kind of lower it around 1k so this line and this line and that's basically uh, what I do this is a loop mind you um, but it's still it's still kind of okay you just have to kind of compensate it more and we'll listen to it now right you hear that kind of like round like it's it's a little too punchy like for me do I prefer loops or individual samples they both work um, if a loop works use it loop doesn't work don't use it I'm using a loop for ease because I can sit and mess around with the loop for like an hour or an hour I'll just like cycle through them and I'll get bored um, and I'll go watch Cartoon Network or something um, but yeah I'm using a loop because I like these loops for house and that's what I do but yeah there's a there's a roundness when it's not on and I'll play it and then I'll turn it on and off and you can hear it Hopefully you can hear it. Um, I have this set to good quality or decent quality. Um, but yeah, you can hear it now. Listen to this. So it's, it's the EQ kind of molds it and makes it sound nice. Uh, in my opinion, it makes it sound better and it kind of cleans out the mix. So when you're mastering, you can kind of do you smoke weed? Yes, of course I do. I've been open about it forever. Well, not on the channel. I've always hinted about it, but I'm very... Yeah, I'm Canadian, and I make music. Put the two together. LOL. Um, so yeah, we have processed our kick loop and our clap and all that fun stuff. Um, listening to it now, let's see if I need uh, any mid-side EQing. I don't, I don't think so, but we can add it in for fun. So what I do is I like to add another chain of, e of an EQ, and then I turn on uh, mid-side, and I turn on the side. And what this does is it kind of brings out the side material and makes it wide. Do you find it to help with producing? Yes! I'm, I want to make like a video about it, just talking for like forever, like how it, it like is benefited. And yeah, I mentioned this when I was trying to sell my mic when I was trying to, when I like did that whole mic video, it's like, help me get a better mic. And, uh, 
yeah, I'm gonna 